Hello everyone, time for another video. So, in my last video I talked about the components of body, mind, and soul, um, a bunch of other things, and how they all interact to make you you, and how that changes um, who you are and makes you cool. <laughs> Alright? So, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about free will. And let me start off by saying that this video is not religiously affiliated. Um, this is based on my personal experience and the things that I've experienced in my job, which for those of you who've been watching the videos before, know what that is, and for those of you that haven't, I'm a hunter, which means not that I go after small animals and, you know, stick their heads on racks or whatever. Um, that means that... Um, myself and people like me find um, supernatural entities that are harming humanity and put an end to their harm, whether that be by stopping their ability to enter this plane of existence or by um, you know, doing things like making ghosts pass on because they're not supposed to be here anyway. Um, doing the things that need to be done. And I do this personally um, in hopes that I'm doing the will of those who are better than myself, I guess. Um, and again, I say I do this because it is a choice. Um, if I didn't want to do this, I wouldn't have to do it. And that's sort of free will. Now, many people will say, um, and a lot of scientific minds, and trust me, I have a huge head boner for science, don't get me wrong. Um, I love science, personally because of how religious it is. <laughs> um, so a lot of scientific people will say, and I've heard this before, that every single action and every single thing that takes place in the universe now has been decided since the beginning of the world. Since, well, of the universe, really. One tiny thing happens, like the Big Bang or whatever, Everything happens because of it, and so a comet's going to hit the Earth in 46 billion years because it's coming at us already. Everything's already happening, and even the small little things, like our own personal decisions, are being influenced by things that we can't control. Um, and there is a truth to that. There are things that are happening that we can't control. Absolutely true. But... How then do we have free will? Or do we have free will? Um, and that's not something I can really answer for you, but in my own personal opinion, I think that we do have free will, and this is why. As I've discussed previously, um, spiritual beings, you know, um, everything else, they have a set system of operation where, you know, there's a spirit of atmospheric stuff, atmospheric um, control above Iowa, okay? <laughs> I know, weird, but let's just stick with that. So, Iowa is a little weather spirit. Now, uh, I'm going to get into a video about spirits probably right for this one. Um, but so that spirit is not necessarily doing anything other than making sure what happens, happens, okay? It cannot change. It does not have, it can get a physical body, but that's, again, time for another lecture. Um, it is a being that is without a higher, um, well, actually, it is higher knowledge, but, again, time for another video. Um, it has a set duty. Another way to think about this is animals. Um, I often call animals spirits of the material world because they are, they don't really have like a higher thought, they have spiritual, they have a spiritual body, just the way that we do, but it doesn't do anything, like it can stick around after it dies or it can go where it's supposed to go, um, but they don't really have much of a mind, they're not evolved to that point, um, so, an animal never really changes. It doesn't change as a human being. It doesn't learn anything internally. And that's what I think free will is, is we learn. Um, and so, 
I don't just mean learn in the sense that we have we can really change much on this earth. Because, I mean, I think that even the things that I do, eventually I'm going to get killed doing it. I know this. It's just as bad as smoking cigarettes. Um, but I think that my soul, my inner being, everything about me, is changing throughout this whole experience. And I think that it is coming to the decision itself as to what my soul will do. Which, again, sounds pretty weird, I know. Um, and you may think that, well, you're just being influenced by all these other things, and that's what's changing your soul. And valid point. I totally get that. Um, I just feel like my soul is... Here's the world. Here's our universe. Here's everything that's happening in it. My soul is kind of outside of that. It's here, but it's not here. So, it doesn't... It learns, or I learn, through this body, but internally I'm making the choice as to what to do later on. Also, um, if we were immortal, like if our bodies were eternal, if our minds never fractured, if our bodies never got sick, if our varying levels of being were all crunched down into one thing, we wouldn't... we would not be human. We would not be able to make mistakes and then make good choices. We would not have all of these different things. We would just be this force of nature, almost. A, a thing that has to exist. And I think, and this is going to sound like I'm dissing humanity, but I'm not. I think that we don't have to exist. We were given the choice to exist. We were given... We're not supposed to be here, but we are here. Something or somebody or even just whatever put us here. And now that we're here, we get to change something. Even if it's, you know, painting a post red instead of white we change the world. And back to that thing I said previously about how everything has already been predetermined. Scientifically, um, and this is quantum mechanics, which hasn't been proven yet, but this is just me, a billionth of a, out of a time, which, don't listen to that, <laughs> you know, there's the minutest chance that something crazy could happen, and it happens all the time. Like quantum tangling, where a particle will just pass, or sorry, not quantum tangling, quantum tunneling, where a particle will just pass right through an object, happens all the time. That's how, um, have you ever heard of a tunneling microscope? That's how that works. It's something that shouldn't happen, and it has a one in a billion chance of happening. But it happens. And I think that that is part of the incredibleness of the spiritual side of life. One in a million chance of something happening, and it still happens all the time. Miracles are happening all around us. We're just too dumb to see it. <laughs> and it's just so cool. And, um, I don't know, it hits you. It's kind of weird. So I think that in that sense, also, we have more free will than you know. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd love to answer them if I can. Not the best at answering questions, but yeah. So just share this video, you know, with your buddies if they like talking about such things. Um, free will is a really fun topic to throw around in a bar. So use this as a resource, all right? I love you guys. Um, be good and happy hunting, all right?